Africa is a continent full of beauty. Its beauty can be seen through its places and its people. Welcome to the Amazing People of Africa series, where we take a look at some of the indigenous people of Africa. We'll be looking at their lifestyle, culture, and getting to learn about life through their knowledge and experiences. Before we start, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today, we take a look at the Wudabe people. The Wudabe are a nomadic group who migrate through the Sahel from northern Cameroon to Chad and northeast Nigeria. The Wudabe are a pastoralist community, which means their main economic activity is cattle herding. The community divides themselves into 15 lineage groups and membership is based on bloodlines. Unlike the other indigenous people in the area, who mainly practice Islam, they believe in animism. If you don't know what animism is, it is a belief that objects, places and creatures all possess a spiritual aspect. They also worship physical beauty, not a superficial decoration, but as an intrinsic part of their culture, which must be glorified and paraded for the enjoyment of others. From the outside, some of their practices may seem vain, but they have a deeper meaning to them. Water is so scarce that the Wudabe spend months following the rains across the Sahara, but when the rain season comes, they all come together to celebrate. At this time, arranged marriages also happen. The celebrations may run for a week or even longer. Beauty plays a major role during this festive season, especially for the men. They spend a whole day applying elaborate makeup which they make from red ochre, chalk, animal bones and some even use battery acid to paint their lips black. Once they have their makeup done, they dress extravagantly in bright colored beads and feathers. Sometimes they even adorn their clothes with recycled whistles, lighters and sunglasses. They perform a teeth gnashing, eye rolling dance in front of the women in hopes of being judged the most beautiful man. Wudabe women look for tallness, white eyes and teeth, a slim nose and a symmetrical face. I might say that the Wudabe might be the only African culture that allow girls to take the lead in choosing their betrothed. Even married Wudabe women have the right to take a different man as a sexual partner. Unfortunately, the Wudabe are one of the last nomadic people in the area, and estimates suggest that this could be less than 100,000. Decades of drought have depleted their herds, and their traditional grazing routes are being cultivated into farmland, squeezing the Wudabe into smaller groups and more marginal areas. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts about this video. What do you feel about men putting on makeup? Also, what are your thoughts about these beautiful people? Would you love to visit them and learn more of their culture? Let us know in the comments below. Also, let us know of any other indigenous people you'd like us to cover. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and hit the notification bell. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to watch our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa. It's been me, Linda, from Tuna Travel. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Until the next video, stay safe and I'll see you then. Did you like today's video? Please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.